called The Math Lady. Today we're talking about dividing terms. And really, what does that mean? Well, we're talking about terms that have exponents and how do you deal with them? Take a look at this example. We've got 18a squared b c to the third over 3abc squared. Well, what do we do to simplify this? Well, we have to remember what does an exponent mean. It means that number or variable multiplied by itself. So let's write it like that. So let's do it. 18, a squared means multiply a times a, times b, times c to the third means c times c times c. Let's do the same thing on the bottom. We have a 3 times an a times a b times a c squared. So it's times c times c. Now, like any fraction, we would look to see if we could cancel. Well, let's do it. I'm going to use red for this one. Well, the 18 and the 3, we can cancel there, right? 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 goes into 18 six times. And then we see we have an a on the top and an a on the bottom. We can cancel those. And we also have a b on the top, a b on the bottom. We can cancel that. And we've got two c's that we can cancel from the top and from the bottom. What is left over? Let's use blue for that. We have a 6 here, an A here, and a C here, and that's it. So to simplify this, this would be 6AC. That simple. Let's simplify this example. And what we're going to do is we're going to write everything out without the exponents. So we have a 24. We're going to keep that. Our x is good, times y to the fourth means we're going to write y four times. y times y times y times y. And then we have just a z at the end. All right, let's do the denominator. We've got a 10. x squared means x times x. y squared means y times y. And z squared, you probably know, means z times z. And let's simplify by canceling some things out. All right, we have a 10 and a 24. What number goes into both? Well, we can start with a 2, see if there's anything else. 2 goes into 10, 5 times. 2 goes into 24, 12 times. I think we're done with those two. Let's cancel out what else we can. X there, X there. I see a Y here, and a Y here, a Y here, and a Y there. And I see one more Z's, set of Z's that we can cancel out. What are we left with? We've got a 12, a 5, a Y, a Y, and on the bottom, an X, and a Z. All right, let's write it out. 12Y squared, right, because there's two Y's left, so we can put them back together now. And we've got a 5X and a Z in the bottom. Okay, it's pretty simple. Now there is going to be a shorter way to do this in the future, but you've got to stay tuned and hang out for that lesson. But for now, we're going to encourage you to write it all out, cancel, and then regroup and see what you have left over. Okay, I'll see you in the practice set to do some practice problems on this very topic. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.